This video is not suitable for audiences under 13 years of age. Hello everyone, Mixman Gaming here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're taking a look at some more test server action here in War Robots. And this week's test server, we have the Fafnir again, along with the Hell, the Snare, and the Scotty weapons. Uh, as well, from what I hear, the Dreadnought map is back. So, with any further ado, well, before I drop in, the, uh, from what I understand, the Hell, the Snare, and the Scotty, I think they all got small buffs. Uh, I'm not sure if the Snare did or not. Uh, I know the Scotty did, and the, uh, the Hell got buffs. I, I think the Snare did, but I'm not 100% positive. It's either a slight buff or a slight nerf, but anyways, let's hop into a match here. Let's see if we can hopefully land on Dreadnought and see what it looks like. All right, battle begins. No. All right, battle begins. No. And we do have the Dreadnought map, nice. All right, so let's hop into one of my Fafnirs here. I don't even know what these drones do, to be honest. Never looked at them. Okay, so let's look at this. This is it. This is it. We waited over four months or whatever for this. It's looks almost the same. Like seriously, there might be a little bit more shadows and a little bit more texture, but I, w I would not say this is remastered at all. And holy crap, why is my butt so slow? This is going slower than a freaking behemoth. What is going on? Okay, so we have shells in here. I should have put rockets or something on. Oh, no, that's Hellburner. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Now we need to get another beacon or otherwise this is going to be over with pretty quickly. I want to see what this map looks like a little bit better. Uh, okay, let's try to get this guy down here. So it's Nemesis. Let's go around this side. Let's use my Phase shift if I can move, that'd be nice. Okay, so we get a kill there, nice. Uh, this guy up. <laughs> How many shields you gotta have? Okay, so I'm lost in it here. Thanks for the heals. I'm gonna stay in this bubble there if I can. Then go up. I want to see what the up here looks like. You know what? That's, it's it's mostly just flat textures. Like there's no there's no depth to this at all. And maybe I'm just wanting too much. I don't know, but one dip. Uh, now you decide to actually use your ability. Okay, so. See what we can do here. Get this shell down here if we can. Okay, I'm gonna go up here, try to hit this guy. 350 meters range. Okay, 
he's got one of those shield checks on the uh, on the drone. Okay, we we need to get some beacons here. Yeah, I'm gonna be die here in a second. I'm trying to get down here if I can get this this beacon, but come on, guys, just let us get the beacon so we can test this. I don't understand people. And I can't, why can't I target him? I know he's right below me, but geez, what is going on? Seriously. Okay, so let's go into the Scorpion, see if we can't hopefully get some of this back. Get rid of this guy down here if we can. It's the shell. I, I swore I put last stand on this bot. Oh well. So, I'm going to be perfectly honest, I am not impressed with this so-called remastered map. Uh, far from it. it. Yeah, it looks a little bit better than what it did previously, but it's not, it's definitely not worth waiting like the four or five months or so we had to wait for it. And I don't understand people on the test of why they play for, for beacons. Just get a couple beacons and leave it so we can test. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> anyway, so at least we land on Dreadnought. So I'm not going to bore you with any other gameplay. Uh... I, I really don't like the fact that people come to these test servers and they, just, they go for the beacons, they go for the win, and they don't spend the time to actually properly test the, the things. So anyways, uh, well, you know my thoughts. First off, I think these weapons, the new weapons, the Hell of the Snare and the Scotty are overpowered. Uh, once they hit the live server and they hit Mark II, level 12, they're going to be so freaking OP and ridiculous that you won't even believe it. And the fact that they're actually buffing them on the test server, it's like, Pixonic, when are you going to wake up and let us test stuff at maxed levels? Let us test things at Mark II level 12. If you're working through the tweaks and you want to let us test at Mark, you know, Mark I, level 8, fine. But give us at least two test server sessions before you decide to, to release it live at max level. If you're not going to test everything max right from day one, at least put in the, the two weeks prior to you, you wanting to release this. Put it at Mark II level 12 on the tester so it can have its proper testing. I, I've been involved in software development and testing for like the last 20 years. And you do not test things at a certain level. You have to do what's called the boundary testing. You, you're supposed to test it at the, the early stages, at the kind of the minimum. And you have to test it at the maximum. And then you have to see if you can actually break it. But I'm not going to go into the whole concept of quality testing. But you're not doing it. You're putting it Mark 1, Level 8. That is not a proper test. It's a test to see if there's any bugs. But it doesn't do a full test. And when I'm going to the test server, I want to do a full proper test. You're asking for my feedback. And I will give you my honest opinion, my honest feedback. Which usually is quite negative, to be perfectly honest. However, I can't give proper feedback and with testing if you don't allow us to test them at the the, ex, the extremes yeah it might not make too much sense to test at mark one level one but it makes a hell of a lot of sense to test a mark two level 12 and put that in combination with pilots and drones you need to be able to allow us on the test server to test everything so at least have two sessions where you can test at mark two level 12 have like the final test server before you actually go live give us all the bots, all the weapons, all the pilots, all the drones, all the microchips. Give us everything so that we can have a proper test to see just how powerful are these things going to be at Mark II level 12. And listen to the feedback and actually do proper adjustments before you release it. The community is getting so overly negative with every single release that Pixonic does. And I can't blame them. I don't play very much solo anymore. I play squad play, play uh, probably 70% of the time. I just, I, I can't, I can't stand going into this game and playing solo now because of the idiocy that Pixonic does. 
I just wish they would actually listen to the community. I wish they would fix things properly. And I wish they would actually release things that are not so OP. It actually breaks the game and just annoys the living crap out of people. Not everybody can afford to spend $1,000 a month on this game. If you would actually release your stuff in a more balanced state, make the players happy. You know what? You might be surprised that some of the players that don't spend money actually might start spending it. But, you know, you're, you're dead set in your ways and refusing to listen to the community. And at some point, it's going to come back and bite you in the ass. But anyways, uh, that being said, Dreadnought, I was extremely disappointed with it. I was expecting much more for what's called a remastered map. It looks very similar to what it was previously. So, only thing I have to ask is, why did you wait four months to give us this? I, You know what? We could have four months to have the Dread, Dreadnought map in the current uh, live server. And it looks almost exactly the same. Yes, maybe a few tweaks here and there. But... It's, it's not like some of the other ones like Valley. It was completely and utterly different. Um, uh, Canyon. Once you start releasing the water in Canyon, it's going to be look phenomenal. Uh, what's what? The power plant map with, with the water over near uh, the edge there. It really did have a definite change to the map. Dreadnought, it's bland. It's basic. And it's probably 95% identical to what it was previously. No, not a fan at all of the Dreadnought map. I, I really think you did a really bad job, uh, quote unquote, remastering it because for me, I expected a lot more. But anyways, those are my thoughts. Uh, how, what did you think of the test server if you happen to be on it? I'm curious. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Until next time, cost of man on the field for me.